Hello folks! Welcome to the learning documentary of the Sound of Entrepreneurship project, funded by the Erasmus Plus program of the European Commission. The Sound of Entrepreneurship is a project developed by six European organizations from five countries, France, Italy, Cyprus, Spain and Ireland. The SOI project aims to encourage unemployed musicians and music industry workers to adopt a more inclusive and sustainable personal development through empowerment, self-marketing and entrepreneurial skills. Thanks to this learning documentary, musicians, music industry workers and aspiring music industry entrepreneurs are provided with a new learning path related to the development of basic and transversal skills innovative managerial competencies and entrepreneurial spirit. If you want to get more information on the Sound of Entrepreneurship project, please visit our website soundofentrepreneurship.eu. Feel free to share our project with other musicians and music professionals. This learning documentary will explain you how to combine the history of rock and business, planning together using modern tools such as project cycle management and the Canvas business model. I know this sounds a little bit strange, but keep it watching and you will understand how rock and roll history can support the learning process of musicians that are interested in becoming self-entrepreneurs. So let's start and keep it rocking. Let's go a bit deeper into the methodology we created within the Sound of Entrepreneurship project. Basing our experience on a previous EU-funded project called The Sound of Business, we developed the idea of putting together rock and roll history, business and another approach which is called Project Cycle Management. This project put together these three elements and this is what we developed together with all the project partners. So, how to put together these two elements, rock and business? By using a very interesting methodology called Project Cycle Management, or PCM, we can merge these two elements. Have you ever heard of the Project Cycle Management? It is a very easy to use methodology made up of six different steps. The first step is called Programming. Programming means that if you have a very good business idea, you must start the cycle by knowing exactly the needs you are answering with your business idea or project. This means that if your project or business is successful, it is addressing specific needs of the beneficiaries of your project or business. Now think about rock music. Why some music genres or very famous bands have been so successful? Think about rock and roll which was very popular in the 50s and 60s. Why? If you want to give an answer, just think about the needs rock and roll music was addressing at that time in the 50s. People wanted to have fun because they were just out of the drama of the World War II and that's exactly the need that rock and roll was satisfying. So if you want to be successful with your business, just keep in mind this. Your business should satisfy your target group needs. The second step of the project cycle management is identification. In the second step, a project manager or businessman has to identify the strategy to address the needs that we identified it already in the first step of the PCM. To make an example, try to go back to the rock history and think about two legendary rock bands, Bon Jovi and Guns N' Roses. Try to change your mind and think about these bands not simply as two rock bands, but as two enterprises. They are selling a product, they work in the same market, but they use two different strategies to create and sell their product. Think about Bon Jovi, they were the good guys. The product they sell is addressed to a specific target. Now think about Guns N' Roses, they were the bad guys and the product they sell is addressed to another kind of customers. I think it is clear now the concept of identification of a strategy for the second step of PCM. And now we are ready to move to the third step of the project cycle management called formulation. But what we did so far? 
We identify the needs we have to address with our business idea. Then we identify the strategy to use to address the needs. Now we have just to formulate our business idea. At this point, we have to write down all the business ideas and we have to create a business plan. The easiest way to create a business plan is to use a simplified model, which is called the Business Model Canvas. An interesting tool that simplifies and summarizes the key elements of any business plan. The value proposition, what we are selling to our customers. The customer segments, which we are trying to reach. The relationship we have with our customers. The key partners with whom we have to cooperate to be successful in our business. The key activities that we have to implement or the channels we have to use to communicate our business outside. Think about costs or the revenue streams. For your convenience, Sound of Entrepreneurship has created the Eric Clapton Business Model Canvas. Have a look and comment with us. Which value is Eric Clapton proposing to his customers and listeners? For sure, his unique music talent and style. Think about the key partners needed for Eric Clapton to be successful on the market. He cannot be successful without sponsors or good record labels or without a good manager. Now, going back to the project cycle management, if your business model is complete, it's time for the money, financing. This means where you can find the money necessary to fund your business, band or music. To close the project cycle management circle, you have to evaluate what you did with your business idea, which means to what extent you addressed the needs identified at the beginning of this process, the needs of your customers and listeners. Evaluation also means to change product if necessary, like David Bowie when he killed Ziggy Stardust on a stage, because he just felt it was time to change music and character. That's the trademark of David Bowie. And that's what a good businessman has to do to be successful, to reinvent himself when it's needed. With this learning documentary, we want to sum up what we have developed within the framework of the sound of entrepreneurship and the methodology to increase the entrepreneurial spirit of music professional, using rock music to inspire them with familiar concepts. At the same time, it is important to know the EntrenComp, the European Entrepreneurship Competence Framework. The European Commission has developed EntreComp as a reference framework to explain what is meant by an entrepreneurial mindset. EntreComp offers a comprehensive description of the knowledge, skills and attitudes that people need to be entrepreneurial and create financial, cultural or social value for others. EntreComp is a common reference framework that identifies 15 competencies in three key areas that describe what it means to be entrepreneurial. Please check out our project platform and toolkit to have a better understanding of Entrecom framework. Now we present the stories of the musicians who participated in the Sound of Entrepreneurship project, attending the workshop and playing for us. Bonjour, je suis Sophie Neige, je suis autrice, compositrice, interprète et euh, j'ai eu la chance de faire partie euh, du programme euh, Sound of Entrepreneurship euh, qui a été euh, donc conçu par le Conseil international de la musique et, euh, et d'autres entreprises dans le cadre d'un programme Erasmus+. J'ai été à Palerme suivre euh, donc, euh, une série de conférences pour pouvoir ensuite euh, moi-même aller transmettre sur euh, donc, le thème de l'entrepreneuriat et, euh, et aider les artistes qui avaient du mal euh, financièrement à se sortir de la crise du Covid euh, à en fait réussir à marketer et à vendre mieux leur musique.
Hello, my name is Kyriakos Kosta and I am from Cyprus. I am a musician, composer and performer focusing on organizing concept cycle concerts. The Sound of Entrepreneurship project is very important for musicians due to its focus on developing essential business, marketing and entrepreneurial skills. By equipping musicians with these skills, the project empowers them to take charge of their careers and navigate the challenges of the COVID-19. We really hope that this learning documentary has awakened your entrepreneurial spirit. And if you are interested in deepening the contents of this video, please check out our learning platform at www.soundofentrepreneurship.eu. Keep it learning and rocking!